So now, fast forward seven years after she's, uh, she's left and she is in Medina, she's an established mother, has her own family. What happens? Her own mother, remember her own mother, Potela, who had not yet accepted Islam, she's still, and she uh, dies in that state, she visits, the, uh, visits her, and she brings with her all of these treats and food and like ghee and raisins and other foods, and she wants to give all of these gifts to her daughter. Now, Asma is conflicted, right? She's like, wait a second, even though you're my mother, you're still on the other side of this, and I need to make sure this is okay for me to even accept you as my guest and accept your gifts. So she had, again, that wisdom and that um, ghayra, deep ghayra for, for her faith to go and ask the Prophet ﷺ through her sister Aisha, can I accept my mother even though she is not a Muslim and she's brought me all of these gifts? And this is also really relevant, okay? How many of you are converts in this room? MashaAllah. Now, Allahu Akbar. May Allah protect and preserve all of you and inshallah bring hidayah to all of your loved ones. We had a sister here. I don't know if she's here. I don't want to call her out, but she was here yesterday for our dhikr that we did. And her heart was really heavy. She's a convert. And she said, I have no support system. And this is the situation of many of our convert sisters, which is why it's so important that we hold space with one another and that we bring our convert sisters and brothers into our communities and make sure that they never, ever in their life feel that they have no support system. But we, all of us, and especially our converts, you owe Asma bin Zabi Bakr a lot for what she did in this exchange. Because because of her and this situation with her mother, and seeking the advice of the Prophet ﷺ, the ayah was revealed, which is, Allah does not forbid you from dealing kindly and fairly with those who have neither fought nor driven you out of your homes. Surely Allah loves those who are fair. This is chapter 60, verse 8. This ayah was revealed to reassure everyone whose family and loved ones have not yet adopted the faith that you can still have them in your life. You can still have a beautiful relationship with them as long as they're not forcing you out of their homes or, or torturing you or doing anything like that to, you know, again, bring them into your homes and, and, and treat them with the same love and dignity and respect. He gave that permission, and so she was relieved and she accepted her mother. But another, again, incredible story that we get from Asma.